Hey guys, it's me, Kezia Noble, leading female dating and attraction expert for men. Today in this video, I'm gonna share with you just one thing that you can do that will enhance your appeal and your attractiveness in multiple ways, giving you a huge advantage when it comes to attracting women. When I ask my clients, to tell me what they're looking for in their ideal woman, it never fails to amaze me how many of them really don't have a clear idea about what they want. They usually say, you know, she has to be a nice girl, be in good shape, nice sense of humour, friendly, outgoing, just a very basic list of very generic attributes. When I challenge them and ask them, why they don't have a more detailed list of what they're looking for, they'll usually say something such as, I don't wanna limit myself too much. I wanna keep my options open. I'm open-minded. But to a woman, when it comes to a man's standards and taste, I'm open-minded translates to, I'll take whatever I can get. And that's what needs to change. If you go into an interaction with a clear idea of what you want, and just as importantly, a clear idea of what you don't want, a number of things will change in your benefit. In this video, I'm gonna show you what those benefits are and how they can really strengthen your appeal and ultimately your success rate with women. So the first one is your mindset. Approaching a woman armed with a clear list of what you want and what you don't want will hugely equalize the power dynamic of the approach and the interaction. You see, women have a very clear and detailed list of what they want and don't want in a man. They've modified it, added and subtracted to this list over many years, which is a huge part of the reason for why they nearly always have the power advantage. Now, I wanna make it very clear that despite having these clear lists of what they want, and even despite having a very specific type, grade A game will obliterate all of this. And that goes for men also. You might very well have a type, a specific type. But if you meet a woman who doesn't fit that type, but she has buckets of sex appeal and charm, she'll bewitch you. She'll bewitch you despite her not being your type. Now let's go back to the mindset side of things. When you go to approach and build an interaction with a woman, with a list that matches hers in terms of detail. Why is this? Because your internal dialogue will switch from, she's hot, I hope she's friendly and she'll like me, to, yeah, she's my type physically, mm, could do with being a few inches shorter, could be wearing something a little more classy, but anyway, let's see if she has the qualities that I like in a woman. This internal dialogue shift will reflect in your body language, your energy, your eye contact, and it will greatly help to improve your conversation material. So this leads me to the second benefit. When you know what the qualities are that will enhance her attractiveness and the personality traits or defects that you believe will lower her value, you'll find that your questions are more bold, your responses are more confident, and your general conversation skills are greatly improved which will provide a more impactful and connective experience. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you find playfulness to be an attractive personality trait for a woman. You'll want to identify whether she has this quality or not. And so you'll be more likely to initiate playfulness with her. You'll test the water with her. You'll deliberately be a bit more cheeky so you can see if she can throw it back in a good natured way, of course, or if she reacts in a way that indicates she can't take a joke or takes herself too seriously. If she does react in a way that you don't find attractive, that doesn't tick the box, you'll be more likely to say, oh, I thought you were fun, you are way too serious for me. Again, in a cheeky and playful way, and this in turn will increase the chances of her feeling that she needs to qualify herself to you. You know, so she might say, you know, I, I'm not serious. Like, yeah, I can be playful too. Now, if you didn't have that list, you probably would never have done this. 
you would have been in that pick me mindset rather than the chooser mindset. Hey, just a quick message before you continue watching the video. If you want to start getting real results with women and begin living the reality you want, then find out how myself and my incredible team of experts can make this happen for you. After you've watched the video, go to my website, kezia-noble.com, and you will find more information about the seven day mastery program. This is a full immersion experience where you will receive one-on-one -on -one training throughout the entire seven days. Whatever points of struggle you have, we will deliver you the solution. Whatever objectives you want us to help you to achieve, we will do everything to ensure that happens for you. We have been helping men turn their dreams into a reality on our programs since 2006. So we know exactly what to do to get you where you want to be. Every single man who attends our seven day mastery program or our acceleration home training mentorship receives a completely tailor-made experience where the coaching is designed to meet all your personal goals whilst remaining 100% aligned with your personal values and expectations. This is so much more than just a dating and attraction program because you'll discover that all the new skills and insights you gain are easily transferable to other areas of your life and well-being, including your career, social encounters, and your overall confidence. It's time to start living the reality you want and the reality that you deserve. Okay, back to the video. Now, if you didn't have that list, you probably would never have done this. You would have been in that pick me mindset rather than the chooser mindset and therefore would have just continued portraying a watered down, play it safe version of yourself. This is why on our courses, specifically our seven day mastery program, it's really important that we sit down with our clients and we get them to write out a clear list of what they want in a woman and what they don't want in a woman because they need to get used to operating from a selector mindset and they can't achieve that if what they're looking for is too generic and flexible. This leads me to the third benefit which is being able to use positive and negative validation techniques more effectively. Now I've done a lot of videos about how you can implement the negative and the positive validation technique but just to summarize it's showing your approval or disapproval in a woman's behavior or choices. And as a result, this increases your value. It shows that you have standards and you're not such a walkover. But it's a little bit more complex than that. And there's certain ways that you can do it. You shouldn't do it. Um, but you should watch some of my videos about that if you want to get some more information on how to execute that technique correctly. But if you are not aware of what you really want in a woman, what you don't want again, then you're not going to be able to implement this authentically. So it's less effective. Sure, you can still do it, like you can go through the motions, but it will not have that same effect as if you genuinely mean it. Now, there are some guys, and I'm sure you know, who do pretty well with women and don't seem to have this list. They just seem to go for anything with a pulse, and now and again, they get some really beautiful women. They're the exception to the rule, right? Wrong. Just to be clear, these guys and I am, I'm very, very aware of these guys. I have a lot of male friends who do very well with women who do have this attitude. It's kind of like they wear it as a badge of honor. It's like, yeah, you know, if there's a hole, there's a goal. You know, I'll fuck anything. I'm a dog, they'll say, you know, and they almost, as I said, wear it as a badge of honor. And they have a lot of social confidence. And the fact that they see every girl as an extension of the last girl that they've spoken to is actually part of the reason why they get better responses from particularly beautiful women because they essentially treat every woman as the same. They don't put one particular woman on a pedestal. But even those guys who say they just fuck anything, they will have a list of what they're looking for. And because these guys tend to be naturals, they very likely are not even aware of it. Granted, their lists won't always be focused around looks too much, but they will be looking for certain characteristics, certain attitudes in a woman. These guys tend to not like women who take themselves too seriously or who are too sensible. They like women who can have a laugh. They tend to find vibrancy in a woman hot. They like a woman who can let loose, who's relaxed and can have fun. Those guys, without even realizing it, are very good at dispensing negative validation. They will go in very positive, all compliments and high energy, 
but will disqualify a woman who they think are too stuck up or too cold or too serious. And I have seen them literally tell a woman that she's boring. She's no fun. They lose interest and they just go off and, and talk to another woman. They talk to a woman who they think is more on their wavelength, who's on the same page as them. It's almost like a light's been switched off. One minute they were invested, enthusiastic and interested and the next, the woman was dead to him. Not in a sulking or aggressive way, just pure indifference to her. Many times I've seen these women try to claw their way back into his favour. And so even those guys who are almost proud of the fact that they have such low standards, they do have a list of what they want and what they don't want. Again, not so much focused on looks, but definitely where the woman's at in terms of her attitude, what page she's on, if she's down for having a laugh, if she's got a good sense of humour, if she's fun loving. And if she doesn't tick those boxes, they have no problem in walking away. They've lost interest. And this is a great segue to the last benefit, which is you will have the confidence to break rapport and walk away. Again, I'm not gonna to talk too much about breaking rapport in this video. I have a lot of videos about how to break rapport correctly and how it can benefit you. Essentially, it just means telling the girl that you've got something to do, so you're at a party or you're at a club um, and you're talking to her and you reach a high point and then say, look, I've got to get back to my friends. I'm being really rude. I'll catch you later. So being able to break rapport can be a real benefit. I'll explain why. When a girl senses you are losing interest in her, maybe because of something she said or her behavior, then that can very often play on her and increase her desire to win you back or win you over. When you have a list, you'll find that you'll be less likely to bend your reality, your opinions, and your points of views to be more aligned with hers. And as a result, this will reflect in your value as a man. Combine that with the fact that you're happy to walk away and wish her a nice evening. You'll increase your value even further. So there you go, they are the benefits from just sitting down and writing a list. Write a list of what you want, write a list of what you don't want, and you know, write a list also of the things that you'll be quite flexible on. You want to operate from the selector mindset and you can't do that if you don't have a list. And go crazy with this list. So a lot of guys will put things on there that they think are appropriate or that other guys might want in a woman. But if you like really bitchy, difficult women, then put it in there. If you like women who are really shy and timid, put that in there. It, it doesn't matter what other people want from women or what influences or people you look up to say they want in a woman. Yes, maybe they want a 21 year old, very compliant, shy girl. You might prefer a dominant woman. It doesn't matter. This is your list. Whatever it is, be true to yourself. And you'll find that when you do that, when you are true to yourself, you're unapologetic of what you find attractive in a woman in terms of looks and personality it will really reflect in your confidence there's something very appealing about a man who knows what he wants and he's unapologetic for it and that can be also what he wants in the bedroom but we'll do a video about that another time okay thank you for watching this video if you want to start getting real results with women go to my website kezia-noble.com and find out more about our programs, which is our seven day mastery program, and of course my online training videos. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you soon on one of my live events. Take care.